How Geometry Got Its Name, a story by Maria Montessori. This story begins in a time very, very long ago in the land of Egypt. This land was, and even still is today, a vast, dry, sandy desert. The only place where life was possible was by the banks of the river. Without this river, it would have been impossible to live in Egypt. The river was so important for the people who lived there that they simply called it the river. The waters of the Nile River, and this is its name, run from south to north. The river has its source in some mountains quite far away. Every year at springtime, it rains and rains in these faraway mountains. All the water from the rains cannot be absorbed by the land, and much of the water flows into the river, which rises high within its banks. By the time the waters reach Egypt, the river overflows its banks and floods nearby fields. You might think that these floods were a disaster, but no, for the Egyptians, this flooding was a real blessing. When the river water came to the banks, it carried debris and mud brought along from those far away mountains. The waters spread the rich black mud over the lands that it flooded. And this was a natural way to fertilize the farmlands. The mud from the River Nile made the land very fertile. This is why the river was called the gift of Egypt. But the flooding could cause some problems as well. Every year, the boundary lines that separated one farmer's fields from his neighbor's fields were washed away. When the water withdrew and it was time to cultivate the land, the farmers argued about which land was whose. So every year, a certain group of people had to solve this problem all over again. These people were called the Harponodapta. It is a Greek word and it means the rope stretchers. And this is exactly what they did. They stretched ropes according to a pattern. The ropes they used were knotted at regular intervals. The Harponodapta stretched the rope out into a triangular shape. Now, the ancient Egyptians did not know or did not seem to know that the triangle they made was a right angled scalene triangle. Maybe it had a different name in their language long ago. However, the Harpen adapter could make a rectangle by reversing the original triangular shape after the vertices of the triangle were marked on the land. Oh, to be a rope stretcher in Egypt was a very honorable profession. And this is how geometry was begun, by measuring the earth. Indeed, geometry means in Greek, gia means earth, and metron means measurement. Well, Geometry can be said to have its beginnings with this experience of measuring the land after the yearly flooding of the Nile River. Geometry grew from the discoveries the people made while working. Whenever a problem arose, they had to find a practical solution. So whenever people needed things, for example, how to build houses or temples, the palaces for their kings and pyramids. I'm sure they used the same critical thinking. You and I know that there is more to geometry than a right angled scaling triangle. But that is another story for another day.